What if I told you that Dataflow, Google Cloud's truly unified batch and streaming data processing product, is now even better? Well, that's exactly what I'm saying. Introducing Dataflow Prime, the next generation of Dataflow, with vertical auto-scaling and right-fitting, which provide automatic fine-tuning of memory and stage-specific resource allocation so you have fewer things to worry about, plus a new pricing model to simplify your billing. These new features help to optimize resource utilization, remediate out-of-memory issues, and provide more predictable pricing. Come along as we discover how Dataflow Prime will improve your processing experience and help you better go with the flow. If you're new to Dataflow, check out the video in the description that gives more context on what Dataflow is and how it works. When running jobs on Dataflow Classic, you have to think about worker type and predict compute resources for each job. If you know the future, predicting resources is easy, but for the rest of us, it takes time, effort, and failures with sometimes multiple retries to figure out the right combination of computational resources to run an efficient pipeline and avoid having out-of-memory issues. Traditionally, you can select a worker type, and Dataflow creates a network of identical workers called a worker pool to do data processing. There is one pool, and these resources are fixed. If you run out of memory, you have to stop the job and rerun it manually with workers with more memory capacity. This can lead to your pipeline being stuck, increasing backlog, and overall creating a less than ideal user experience. If only there were some way to automatically increase the memory capacity of workers. Oh, what's this? Vertical autoscaling with Dataflow Prime. With vertical auto-scaling, Dataflow Prime will upscale or downscale workers' memory capacity without any human intervention. Memory is automatically tuned to meet the requirements for your job and is dynamically adapted to these needs as the requirements change. So you as a user no longer have to specify a worker type or try to be a psychic when doing your job. Dataflow Prime does it for you. This greatly improves productivity since you're not running into failed jobs due to out-of-memory issues, and because the memory tuning is automatically handled, it frees up space in your brain for other important things. Plus, your pipelines are more efficient, enabling you to build scalable pipelines with real-time data. Let's look at a visual example. Here, we have four workers with four gigabytes of memory capacity, and during a run, two workers show out-of-memory errors. Vertical auto-scaling replaces all of the workers with new workers that have a larger capacity, in this case, six gigabytes. What if that's still not enough? Well, upscaling can happen iteratively. So if the new upscaled capacity is still not sufficient to get the job done, it will upscale again, in this case, to workers with eight gigabytes. And the same goes for downscaling, so you're not paying for capacity that you don't need. There are default upscaling and downscaling limits, but you can go beyond these limits by using resource hints. Check out the link in the description for documentation on how to do this. Pair vertical auto-scaling with horizontal auto-scaling, a current data flow feature, and its power multiplies. Horizontal auto-scaling automatically scales the number of workers up or down based on your job requirement. Now you have a powerful automated platform that can upscale and downscale worker numbers and worker memory without you having to intervene. This automatically builds an optimized compute mesh with more machines and bigger machines that is customized based on your data processing needs, leaving your pipeline to flow easily. Now that we've covered vertical auto-scaling, let's move on. This next feature will have you using your resources in a much more optimized way. As I touched on before, when running a job on Dataflow Classic, there's one worker pool for each Dataflow job, and any stage of your pipeline can run on any worker from that worker pool. However, different stages of your pipeline may have different resource requirements. For example, one stage of your pipeline may need higher memory than another, and running these two stages under the same resource constraints can result in resources being over or underutilized. This is where our second new feature, right-fitting, fits in. 
With RightFitting, Dataflow Prime creates multiple worker pools, each with a resource configuration that fits the requirements of your transforms. This allows you to run different transforms on different worker pools, which are customized specifically for those transforms. You can specify the worker resources using resource hints for either the entire pipeline or for a specific stage in the pipeline. So you can use resource hints like GPU and RAM and execute different stages of your pipeline on different worker pools with the right resources. This means that I can now have two pools, one for stage one with eight gigabyte workers and the other for stage two, which needs less memory with four gigabyte workers. This lowers costs because you're not running everything on a worker that is over or under provisioned, which helps you improve efficiency and avoid performance bottlenecks. Let's go through another visual example, this time using GPUs. With Dataflow Classic, if you need to use GPUs to do data processing, GPUs are attached to all the workers in the worker pool, even if only some workers will process the stage that needs GPUs. With right fitting on Dataflow Prime, different stages can be processed by different worker pools. So if you have a data pipeline and one stage needs GPUs, you have the flexibility to ask Dataflow, using resource hints, to run just that stage on a worker with GPUs, while the rest of the stages can continue running on regular workers. This means no wasted GPU resources and less cost to you. Once again, when combined with horizontal autoscaling, which automatically scales the number of workers up or down, you get a lot more power. This allows you to independently scale each worker pool up or down to get the right fit for the job. What will we do with all this free time? Before we move on, let's recap our two new features. Vertical autoscaling is based on memory usage. It automatically up and down scales worker memory to the requirements of the job, freeing up your time, improving productivity, and keeping your pipeline flowing. Right fitting is based on tuning worker resources. It allows you to run different stages of your pipeline on different worker pools by using resource hints, allowing you the flexibility to use specific workers for specific stages so they're used as optimally as possible. Now let's talk about pricing. We've developed a simplified pricing model that makes it easier to understand and predict your data processing cost on Dataflow Prime. The Dataflow Classic pricing model charges users for multiple resources. Each of these resources are charged separately and have different pricing. Dataflow Prime provides a new simplified model where all the compute resources are blended together and you are charged based on the amount of data compute units, DCUs, that your job uses. DCUs are a metric that tracks the amount of compute resources that are used by your job. One DCU is comparable to the compute resources used by a Dataflow job that runs for one hour using one worker with one vCPU and four gigabytes of memory. This is much easier to understand, calculate, track, and predict. When you're wondering how many resources your job will consume, you now only have to consider DCUs and other resources versus several resources you had to consider before. Of course, the higher the number of compute resources your job uses and the longer the job runs, the more DCUs you'll consume. Check out the pricing page linked in the description to see how much each DCU costs for your job type and region. If you'd like to know more about Dataflow Prime, check out the product page and other links listed in the description below. If you're already using Dataflow, check out Dataflow Prime and let us know what you think. And as always, thanks for watching.